What is with this English weather, guys? Come on. Right. Right, guys, good morning. What's good? What's going on? Welcome back to another video. Firstly, I apologise for how this sounds. I've got man flu. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, before we get started with anything guys, make sure you head across and go and follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Now today's a very, 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 very exciting video. Because of one reason. This box. This is it guys. I'm super, 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 super pumped about this lens. So a little bit of backstory. Uh, I have been looking for the perfect vlogging lens, basically because I get sick when I'm out in the field of changing lenses all the time. Like I want a lens that is super wide for vlogging, but also has a great aperture for cinematic style shots so I don't have to keep changing my lens all the time. Up to now I've been using a Canon 10 to 18 millimeter, which is incredibly wide, like such an amazing lens, but it's only a 4.5 aperture, which means it's crap in low light and you don't get any of this nice creamy, delicious bokeness going on. So for the most of my kind of videos up to now, I've been using that lens for vlogging and then the lens that I'm using right now, which is the 24 mil, STM pancake lens because it's an f2.8 and between the two I, that's how I've been getting all, all of my cinematic shots and all, all my vlogging shots as well but like in San Francisco it was driving me crazy about the fact that I kept having to change lenses so I could do a little bit of talking and then film a little bit more and then do a bit more talking and one of the ways that I've tried to rectify that is with this here uh, G7X I just don't use it I don't like the quality of the video and you know I try to make the audio better with this little uh, fluffy with this little fluffy thing on top. It's just not me, like I'm not about the point and shoot style vlogging anymore. I'm more about the full DSLR experience. So I decided it's time to invest in my first L series Canon lens. It's a second hand lens, I didn't buy it brand new. It's only the version two and there's a version three that came out like a year ago, but it's still an expensive lens. It's an incredible lens. It's an F2.8, 35, uh, 16 to 35, so it's super wide, but also is great for you know panning and getting those uh, cinematic shots as well. It's also an amazing lens for like landscape photography and uh, uh, street photography as well. So let's uh, take a little look, see at it. There it is. Let's get that weird looking lens cap off it. Beastie lens. That is huge. Now, I must say, the only thing that I am worried about is that this is a USM lens, not a STM lens. So, the great thing with STM lenses is that they are silent in autofocus, which is something that I really, really look for in a lens. A USM lens isn't silent. It's not crazy loud, but it's it still makes a noise, so I am a little bit worried about that. Oh, Canon L-series lenses. I've finally made it. So, let's throw this on and see what it looks like. Okay, here we go. So, this is... The little pancake lens that I was using before. Focus, there we go. It's a beautiful lens. Yeah, this has been my go-to lens so far and still probably be my favorite lens that Canon makes. So this is, oh, look how wide that is. That is beautiful. I'm loving that. So this is it, it's 16 mil and then, whoa, 35. <laughs> I can see the screen as that happened. So it's a really versatile lens. I'm just hoping that that autofocus doesn't bug me too much but we'll see so the idea is that i'm going out to shoot tonight um and i'm gonna kind of put this lens through its test i don't know if i'm keeping it yet like it's, it was a huge investment and i wanted to make sure that this lens was right for me before i made sure that i was getting it so i've got seven days to try it out before i can send it back so i'm gonna go put it through its paces good day love you God. Hi, Hey, Dave. 
I'm still not over this car. <laughs> So I've been dragged. Where are we? I forgot already. Hengsbury Head. Hengish, no. Oh, that's Southbourne. where we're walking. Southbourne. Southbourne to walk all the way down down there, like at the end of here, which is just a conveniently good time to test out this lens. Immediate thoughts: it's super heavy. Do you want to see? How, do you want to feel how heavy it is? Ooh. <laughs> right. <laughs> but the autofocus is super sharp, and I'm not noticing the. The noise of the autofocus is what I was worried about. Were you worried about it, Jess? I was just about to say, well, I was particularly concerned about the auto doodah. <laughs> the, the auto doodah. Auto focus. Auto focus. Sorry. Auto charge. <laughs> I don't know. The, the lens charges itself, so. <laughs> It's always good when I don't get the focus on centre, that's always a good. So we've decided we're not gonna, well, I say we're not gonna buy houses, Jess already has a house. We're not gonna buy houses anymore, we're just gonna buy one of these. Even though they're, they're like I said, they're definitely more than your mortgage. We're both commenting on how peaceful and serene it is down here. There's not, like if you stop walking, they weren't talking. <laughs> There's literally, <laughs> Because we've walked like from over, over here, like all the way along here, around the back, and then down here. This is <laughs> so heavy. Look at like <laughs> my biceps, like like properly, like like. <laughs> <laughs> 